my name is Quentin Judge. I ride, work, train, do it all at Double H Farm with my wife, Casey Harrison. We are here in Wellington, Florida now, also in Ridgefield, Connecticut in the summer. And yeah, we're a full operation of training and clients and jumpers and mostly jumper focused, but we do it all. It's a game of inches doing show jumping and I think putting a little too much pressure or not trusting the horse's front end, whatever you do, it can catch up with you and end with four faults. So we do gymnastics like crazy. I'm really serious about the horse's fitness and flat work. Doing gymnastics has really simplified our program as far as it really breaks things down to basics. I would say a gymnastic is anything where you're kind of like regulating the horse's stride length and challenging them to like open or close through their just from cantering or with simple cavalettis. We have 50 cavalettis in our grass field. We do an exercise a lot, just I'll have maybe 10 cavalettis down the side, long side of the grass field, which is 18 feet, 28 feet, 18 feet, 20, so it's one stride and two stride, or you change that whatever you want. And basically our hill, our field is like tiniest bit of a grade for drainage. So uphill is gonna be, you have to use a little leg, downhill will be a little slow. The goal is to jump that first cavaletti, put your hand up the neck, and the horse regulates their stride enough. We train them enough to do it. They slow down if they need to. They kind of move it forward a little bit if they need to up the hill. You can do anything in the world, I've found. Anything problem a horse has and any kind of anything in the ring, it'll show itself in a gymnastic and you can work on it. We jumped to gymnastic with our student Haley today. So Haley Bannis stay with her horse Farrah Flies. She's a really nice eight-year-old mare that has stepped up in the highs, meter 40, meter 45 in the last month. She came here starting 130 and really, she'd done the mediums and wanted to move up. Um, and that horse was kind of a typical hot mare when she first came where she had a lot of power, a lot of ability, but very little rideability between the jumps. And she still gets her blood up and gets kind of temperamental between the jumps, but she's not a horse that handles out of pressure. So our goal with that horse was to put it, give her as many skills as we could through gymnastics and really let Haley as a rider feel the horse had all the ability she needed where she could sit more quiet and not interrupt the horse as much and also be willing for the horse to have one down once in a while. It was, she was a young horse producing, we're not jumping the Olympics, she needs to figure it out. So we had today an oxer, uh, 30 feet to a Cavaletti, 20 feet to a vertical, 30 feet to a Cavaletti and 20 feet to another oxer. Good. So it's basically two stride, one stride, two strides, one stride. Do a nice downward transition so she can't get too strong. We use the Cavaletti instead of placing rails today because that horse doesn't really respect the placing rails that much and she'll kind of go past it. So the Cavaletti, she knows enough the Cavaletti is something she has to slow down for. What I wanted, that goal of today was for Haley to feel that she was able to jump the oxer as wide enough, the first jump coming in the gymnastic, and be able to you know release and let the horse can fully jump the jump and then land and make her way for two strides and not stiff the horse in the air, which Haley doesn't really do, but it's a consistent thing. Not interrupt the horse, jump too much in the air, and make her, you know, rub the back rail, the oxer behind, just to slow down for the vertical. Why don't you do it back this way off the right, and after you go through that last oxer, make her go right and jump the Cavaletti, and then pull up on a straight line afterwards. If she's fighting right now, I'm gonna be in a bad mood, and she gets herself in trouble here and tears a jump down, that's on her. So do the best you can to present the jump as best you can, it's her job to jump the jump. She can have a little bit of fit if she wants to. Good, soften when you can. And if you have to pull, pull a bit. Look right. Good, and pull her up. Good, walk a second. The, the first jump that she touched when you were thinking about turning right and twisting a little bit, and she said what you did, front rail behind, right? Which maybe that's you putting a little pressure or a little twist or turning her a bit in the air, but if that's a little bit her default that something's not right, you just gotta know you have to, she has plenty, plenty, plenty of scope. When you're, even if you're jumping this that much bigger, sit still, and especially today, if she puts her front toe on the back, we're like, who cares? Trust the scope a little bit more. Let me just change this a little and let her blood come down, just pat her, we'll go back at it. So those cross rails are gonna kind of act like V rails for her. Just keep her straight and keep the form a little bit better. Let's keep doing the same thing. You'll canter to the gymnastic, skipping the first Cavaletti, but finish with the Cavaletti on the backside. 
pull her up straight. I'm gonna make these a little wider than we normally would because I want you to feel like you are forced to follow across until she lands and not you can't interrupt, interrupt the jump in the air thinking about the short two strides. So slightly, slightly more rhythm than you had coming to it the last time. But then when she's there, if she's deep, long, or perfect, yield your positions her jump, 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 jump. Especially today, we're just working on form and making her think about herself a little bit more. You know, don't hang her out to dry, but it's her job to jump these jumps, not yours. Fingers closed and the reins a bit better. If your reins get long and you land, you're here for the Cavaletti. Use your eye, but try not to twist in the air. Straight, Straight. fingers closed, position, all that. And let her jump the jump. Eyes up. Good, pull her up straight and pat her. So gymnastic was great, just on the back side, she's still too strong, right? Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Once more, same thing. If you can, use that Cavaletti as a pull up also. Jump your ox from the back row of the oxer first and go to the Cavaletti as if you're going to it and then make her pull up before it. If she's really strong and roots, back up a step, then soften and pattern come again. Little leg, eyes up. Make her wait with your shoulders. Good. Good. That's good. Now just manage your stride, whoa. Straight. Right leg, right leg, good. Now make her work it out, she's just fine. Balancing two with your leg around her, look dead straight. Good. Great. Very good. I think that's, I think that's enough, that's very, very good. She is, and that's she now knowing her as well as we do, she has plenty of scope. Especially what we're asking her to jump right now, she could walk those oxers. So I think you got more than anything you have to take out of your mind. She's a young horse, so you're producing. She's still young, but you're not, she's not a baby anymore. Okay. Trust the front end, trust the scope. If she has one down, that's nothing in the world. You're still producing her. Because that looks great. Yeah. That's hard. That's, and I wanted the heart to feel the horse could do that. I put little V-rails in the jumps so the horse had, had to stay really straight and work on her form as well. And that horse can lean a little bit into the inside. So we use the Cavaletti at the top of the ring to kind of make her land, listen her inside leg and kind of just not jump the gymnastic and then run off on the backside. So I think it was very good. It, and that horse took maybe, you know, eight or 10 times the cap, through the gymnastic and she was done. She's gonna jump the highs, you know, Friday and Sunday this week. I think she's plenty ready to go. And it was a good little school for that horse. And with things like that, we can tailor it specifically to the horse. If she falls into the inside, I put her a little rail on the inside of the standard so she can't fall in. If she does, she knocks it down, it's a light rail, but she's careful enough, she'll come back and stay straight the next time. So it's kind of a way to quickly like put the horse and rider back together. The guidelines for trying gymnastics and getting into it at home, and I am should say I'm not like the guru on gymnastics, it's just a tool that we use a lot, is start small make it really simple and at the end of the day the goal that I have in gymnastics is do something the horse can be successful at. I'm not trying to trap the horse or the rider, make it so hard they cannot do it because all the horse learns to lose confidence at that point. I said something and as horses get better you can make it quite challenging. The end goal always has to be success. So if it's for some horses, if you have a young four-year-old horse out of the field it might be just two rails, eight strides apart, actually doing eight strides instead of six. But it's different for everybody, but the, I think the whole goal of setting any gymnastic for the horse or training a horse has to be that they complete, they like say yes willingly and they complete the task well and they're successful at it. Yeah.